Start clapping right now for Bonnie Drummond! Yeah. What's going on? How we doing tonight, man? Yeah, yeah Atlanta, what's going on, man? Yeah. I moved out of Atlanta like shortly before the pandemic began, like maybe a year or two before the pandemic began, so I ain't been able to speak to y'all in a minute, so we got a lot of catching up to do in a short amount of time, you know what I'm saying? We learned a lot over the past couple years, haven't we, America? Yeah. We've lost, we've learned a lot. Have you learned anything in particular? Nope. He's a dumb motherfucker, boy. <laughs> I've learned some significant shit. Take for instance, I had no idea they served Hennessy at the Oscars, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that, bro. Cause Will Smith was definitely on some Hennessy behavior, you know? I knew something was amiss when I saw Will Smith on the red carpet in a tux in Black Air Force Ones, man. And I was like, something's going strange, bro. It's, it's, it's an interesting time, because that was an interesting event for all of us. But I'll tell you this, you know Will Smith did some weird shit if after Will Smith smacked uh, fucking Chris Rock, the next day Kanye was on Twitter like, you know what, I need to go get some help, yo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe I need to step back and think about things, get on the meds, man. <laughs> You gotta be careful what you ask for, and life is crazy. Can we agree with that? Yeah. No doubt. For the past couple of weeks, I've been going to sleep. I've been like, damn, I'm tired of seeing Kanye West and Pete Davidson on my timeline. <laughs> I woke up the other morning, it was World War Three on my timeline. I was like, damn, I miss the old Kanye, man. <laughs> Bring Kanye back. Life is real right now and it's coming at you fast, so you gotta use methods of escapism. One of my favorite methods of escapism is watching movies. I love watching movies to escape reality. And one of my favorite directors to watch when I want to escape reality is Wes Anderson. Are we all familiar with Wes Anderson? He's a dope director, bro. Wes Anderson makes these incredibly creative, incredibly imaginative movies. Every time you watch a Wes Anderson movie, it's like you escape to a different world, you know? A world where there are no black people at all. You know what I'm saying? It may be one, it may be two, but it's never a lot. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you it's easier for an African to cross into Poland trying to escape the Ukraine than it is for a nigga to get cast in a Wes Anderson movie, man. That's a fact. He don't cast none of us, bro. We like him too, man. Make some noise if you steal from your job. Make some noise. If you work here, you don't got an answer. If you work here, you don't got an answer. Who steals with their job up in here? No doubt. I don't want to know where you work, but what do you steal from your job? Food? No doubt. Make some noise for food. Food, clothes, and shelter. Anybody else? Anybody else who steal from their job in here? Huh? Time. Time. No doubt. Steal some money. No doubt. No doubt. Make some noise for her. She's a fucking thief. I steal from my job, man. I, I work at a warehouse in Queens that's a storage facility for an online grocery store that specializes in high-end meats, you know? I got so much filet mignon, rack of lamb, and duck meat in my refrigerator, I call my, ridger, my refrigerator the garden of Eden, you know what I'm saying? That's a fact, man. It's like, and we they recently, they recently hired a security guard to deter theft. You know, I told the homie, they got to have Jesus in here with an AK-47, family. <laughs> Nothing going to stop me from eating this duck meat, family. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a troublemaker at work. I know I'm going to get fired soon. I'm a troublemaker at work. You know what I mean? Every job I get, I'm always trying to convince my coworkers to unionize. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm always leaving communist propaganda in the break room and shit. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? But that's because I grew up with a lot of activism, man. My grandfather, he was a longshoreman union president in the 70s and 60s in Newport News, Virginia. You know what I'm saying? My grandfather fed families, you know what I mean? I grew up in a union household, for real, for real. I grew up around activism. My mother was a young black socialist, you know? Now she's a born-again Christian. <laughs> it's depressing to see your heroes fall from grace. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It is. I feel black 
people could be more honest and fix racism in America if we admitted to our white Americans that we had a lot of shit in, in, in common with them. Because, like, I know a lot of homies and shit, they embarrassed that they mothers chose, and they mothers and their fathers chose QAnon conspiracies. No one's more QAnon than a single black mother, bro. She believes in some serious shit. It's crazy. Like, my white homeboy, he's embarrassed. He's like, yo, son, my mother thinks Trump is getting reelected. I was like, nigga, my mother thinks Jesus is coming back, family. <laughs> that bitch is crazy for real, man. <laughs> I'm happy to be back in Atlanta, man. And, and, and I came to Atlanta to fulfill my one New Year's resolution. Did anybody here have any New Year's resolutions? I have one New Year's resolution because I live in New York City. I want to fuck an unvaccinated girl so bad, bro. <laughs> that in the South, bro. That's a possibility. Because unvaccinated girls is nasty, you know what I'm saying? They be all on the train yawning and shit with no mask on and shit. Now, I did have to get vaccinated and shit, you know what I'm saying? And I got vaccinated because I saw it was real up there. But I hate when white people virtue shame black people for not getting vaccinated because it's a lot easier to let the government put a needle in your arm when you didn't grow up with your grandparents telling you about the Tuskegee experiments. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we got some trepidations behind that shit, dude. But I, I was, you know, I knew that shit was real. So I try to tell my niggas in the hood the benefits of getting vaccinated. You know, I know how to speak to black people. You got to tell us what we getting out of it. I be like, hey, your family is crazy. Ever since I got vaccinated, mosquitoes don't bite me no more, man. <laughs> Since I got vaccinated, anytime I want to charge my phone, I just lay that motherfucker on my chest, son. I'm bionic now. I got the chip. Did I get the light? Was that the light I got from out there? Yeah. yeah. No doubt. All right, I'm happy to be back in Atlanta and shit. I love y'all, man. Make some noise for me, man. You know what I'm saying? in New York City and I'm a black dude so of course I get my hair cut at the Dominican barbershop you know what I'm saying yeah. Dominican niggas know how to cut hair it's crazy bro the cool thing about walking into a Dominican barbershop is that it's like walking into Professor Xavier's school for the gifted you know and all them niggas is Wolverine man they all slice precise man hey yo we did a movie about the comedy scene in New York City at the height of the pandemic y'all need to support that we got it in a lot of motherfucking film festivals thank you so much tip your bartender have a good evening baby.